Moving on, um, we have the closed session report and no reportable action was taken at our closed session earlier today. And then I see Ruth Darlene, um, we will move to spe special presentations. And we do have a couple special presentations um, this evening, very exciting ones. Um, and so Ruth, welcome. We will start with yours as I pull it up. How are you? Oh, I'm very good. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm just over the moon. Thank you so much, Mayor Flagger. Very nice to see you. So I will read the proclamation and then I will do the virtual presentation and then I will turn it over to you um, to give a brief statement. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So proclamation of the mayor, whereas one in three women worldwide will be severely beaten or raped during her lifetime. And whereas acts of violence towards women produce more death, disability, mutilation than cancer, malaria, and traffic accidents combined. Whereas children growing up in a home with an abusive family member are more at risk of developing life-threatening chronic health issues and becoming abusers or victims of abuse themselves. Whereas coercive control is a form of domestic violence and a pattern of threatening, isolating, and controlling behavior ranging from emotional and financial abuse to strangulation. And whereas coercive control le legislation as of January 2021 has passed into law in California Family Court as part of FC 6320. And whereas coercive control poses a lethality risk, transcends economic, professional, racial, religious, and cultural barriers, boundaries, and impinges on every citizen's fundamental human right to be free and safe in their own home. And whereas the Los Altos City Council and the Los Altos Police Department in partnership with the 501c3 Women of Silicon Valley or Women SV, all support the right of every man, woman, and child to live in peace, safety, and freedom in their own home. Therefore, I, Mayor Nisa Flagger, and the Los Altos City Council do hereby proclaim October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Los Altos and recognize the need for us to continue with support, education, resources, and protection to domestic abuse survivors in our community. Thank you. Thank you, and bless you, Mayor Nye. No, <laughs> thank you, Ruth. Um, you know, Ruth Darlene is the Executive Director for Women SB, and as many people know, her organization provides so much of these services and support that I just mentioned. And so the city of Los Altos is very grateful for all the work you have done and continue to do, and we know you work tirelessly. And so to support your work, we are again this year granting you $40,000 for you to continue the great work for our community. And I think you already received the check. Are we able to see a picture of it? Okay, there it is, she has it. Okay, thank you city manager for getting it to her. Thank you, Ruth, thank you. And I'll turn it over to you again for brief remarks, but thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Mayor Flagger and honorable city council members and Gabe and all the people that made this, this support possible tonight. We're so grateful to you all for your support. What an honor it is. And so grateful to you as well for declaring October Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Uh, most people know that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that affects one in eight women, but most people aren't aware that October is also Domestic Violence Awareness uh, Month, which affects twice as many women, one in four. So I am so grateful to you for continuing to raise awareness about a, an issue that affects women in our country and across the world. And closer to the home, it is still a significant problem. Uh, this past year, you helped us make a difference in the lives of 200 domestic violence survivors, many from our immediate area. And since we started this program 10 years ago, we have served over 1,000 survivors. This check, with all it represents, will help us continue to serve our survivors in so many ways. With our support group, we hosted 46 last year. 
It will help us continue to connect survivors with resources, continue to educate them about more subtle forms of abuse and how dangerous they can be, continue to do customized safety planning in all the areas they come under attack, physical and sexual violence, yes, but also emotional, financial, legal, and technological. Most of our survivors are facing severe financial abuse, and that's why we don't charge for our services and why we are so grateful for the support we get from Los Altos City Council uh, because uh, we rely on donations uh, to keep our program going. This is going to help us continue to do outreach in the community through my column on uh, covert abuse. Uh, you can read the latest uh, uh, installments in the town crier through trainings for providers to help them become more trauma-informed and working with survivors. Last week, it was a training for Kaiser physicians, a training for Los Altos uh, a therapy clinic in Los Altos, and a training for new domestic violence advocates at one of our sister agencies. This week, it's a training for uh, OBGYNs at Valley Med, plus a presentation later this week to the City Executives Committee. Thank you so much, Mayor Flagger, for making that possible. And thank you, Council Member Lee Eng, for connecting me with Cupertino's Mayor, Darcy Paul, who has already donated $1,000 to our program after I presented to their City Council and to their Public Safety Commission. And Mayor Paul has also kindly invited Women SV to apply for more funding during their budget talks next year. Next week, I'll also be doing another eight hour training for the Santa Clara County Probation Department. Your support is making it possible for us to continue to do all this work, supporting survivors, raising awareness in the public and educating providers. We are so fortunate at Women SV to partner with the city of Los Altos, which includes our wonderful, wonderful police chief, Andy Galea, who has been such a source of support and encouragement and Captain Katie Krause and Captain Scott McCross and bless them all, along with their entire dedicated team at the Los Altos Police Department. We couldn't do this work without knowing you all have our back. So thank you for believing in Women SV and in our work, for believing in our survivors, for helping us continue to offer them support and education, invite them into a, a community of other survivors who come from many different races, countries and cultures but are all made sisters by their common experience of being trapped in a relationship with a powerful, sophisticated abuser. Thank you for making it possible for us to be there for them, to be part of their village and to offer them hope because without hope, nothing else matters. How blessed they are, how blessed women SV to have your support as we continue to work to protect the right of every man, woman and child to be free and safe in their own home. Thank you. No, thank you so much, Ruth. And I, I'm i glad you mentioned uh, Chief Galea and Captain Kraus and McCausen and the rest of the team there because we know how much they support you and your organization and how well you partner together. So I do want to take this opportunity to thank them as well. Um, and also because I'm thanking Chief Galea and his team, I will mention I went to an event at Los Altos High last week and again heard you know many thanks um, and echoes of appreciation for our police department's assistance in the scare there last week. So I do want to publicly recognize and thank them for that collaboration they did with the superintendent and the rest of the school staff there. Um, but thank you so much, Ruth. I don't know if anybody on, on council has any questions for you, um, but really thanks for all the great work you do. Thank you, 